Hello students. Good morning to everyone. Today, I am here to start your chapter 4 of general science. Today we will study about chapter 4. The name of the chapter is all about birds. Means in this chapter we shall study about the birds. All the special features of birds are lovely. We see many birds around us. And they are the only animals with the feathers. They have wings to fly, two legs to walk, on and a beak with which they eat something. They lay eggs. What do they do? They lay eggs. All the birds have wings. What one special feature is common in all the birds? They have Wings. All the birds are having the wings. Further, they all cannot fly. For example, ostrich, emu, rias, kiwis, penguins, they are the birds which cannot fly. They use their wings only for balance. Mostly wings are used for flying, but in this case, flightless birds, the birds which cannot fly are called flightless birds. And in that type of words, the wings are used for maintaining the balance of the body. Penguins swim. What do they do? They swim. Penguins and these ostriches, they can only walk or run. These ostriches can walk or run. They cannot fly. Penguins, they use their wings like the penguins, no? Penguins, they use their um, wings like the flippers. Some birds spend most of their time in water. And these water birds, what is special feature they have? They have webbed toes. Water birds. <coughs> water birds have webbed toes. What is meaning of webbed toes? Just like neck, no? Neck, neck cloth, no? Like the belly, the fits are bare, the toes are bare. In order to, in order to live in water, so that we do not sink. Common water birds are ducks, gulls, pelicans, and cranes. Ducks, then pelicans, cranes, and then gulls are some common water birds. Okay, this is a general introduction about the birds. Now we will study about this. This is body parts of the birds. First one is feathers. Let's see what is use of feathers in birds. Feathers. All living things have body coverings. We also have body coverings like hair, small hairs no, on our body. In order to save the strong, heat and cold. And the body of the bird. They are covered with feathers. Feathers do many jobs for birds. What special jobs these feathers do for the birds? Let's see. Flight feathers are found on the wings and tail of the bird. This flight, flight feathers means the feathers which have been flying the birds. They are strong and stiff. They help the bird fly. This is what called flight feathers. Which feathers? Flight feathers. Now we will study about the down feathers. Let's see what is down feathers. Down feathers are soft and salt. And they keep the body warm. Then body feathers. This body feathers covers the whole body parts of the birds. Body feathers covers the whole body parts of the bird. They give shape to the body. What do they do? They give shape to the body. This is about the feathers. Now we will study about the wings of the birds. Let's see wings of the birds. What is the use of these wings? Wings of the birds. First of all, I told that wings are used for eating something. We know that birds do not have teeth. 
and they have a beak too. And these beaks are used to eat, uh, used for eating their food. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> what is the use of beak to eat the food? To eat the food, birds used birds use beak. Birds also use their beaks for preening, building nests. Now, their nests are the place where the birds live. In order to make the nests, they use the beaks. Feeding their animals and protecting themselves. And protecting themselves. Birds have many different kinds of beaks, depending on what they eat. Depending on what they eat. Different birds have different kinds of beaks. Let's see when by sar is strong and hook the beaks. First category is sar is strong. Sar is strong and hook the beaks. Sar is strong and This type of beaks are found in the which type of uh, which birds the birds which eat flesh of the other birds and animals. Flesh eating birds like vulture, vulture, owl, eagle, and hawk. They have hooked beaks to tear off meat. In order to tear off the meat, they need the strong beaks, and this type of beaks are found in the vulture. Then. Owl, fox, all these birds because they need this for eating the flesh of the tearing of the meat, eating for eating the flesh of other birds or animals. These birds are called birds of prey. What is the special name given to these birds? Birds of prey. Now, sword, hard and stony beaks. Sword. Hard and stony beaks. So hard and stony beaks. This type of beaks are found in the birds like weasel, sparrow, and finch. In order to crush the grains and seeds, they mainly depend on the grains and for their food and this type of beaks are found in this bird for crushing the grains and seeds. And these birds are called seed eaters. What they are called? Seed eaters. They are called the birds of prey and they are called the seed eaters. A special name for this type of birds are seed eaters. Now let's see. <laughs> it's strong season sand the beaks. Strong sister sand. Strong sister sand. Bix. Strong sister sand. Bix. This bix are found in the bird side. Small holes, tiny holes 
and dissolves around the muddy water to flow out, leaving insects and plants which dissolve. This muddy water when they take in, no? From sites which said that holes are present, from that oh, that holes water come out and they swallow the plants and insects. This is about the border plants. Next we tell the evolution is long and slender beaks. Long and slender beaks. Long and slender beaks. Long and slender beaks. These types of beaks are found in the birds like hummingbirds and sunbirds. They have very long and slender. Slender means thin. This stone means thin. Slender. Slender means thin. Long and thin beaks. For in order to break into flowers and suck its nectar. In order to suck the nectar of flowers, these hummingbirds and sunbirds have the long and thin beaks. This is about the beaks. Now we will study about feet and claws of the birds. First we study about feathers, then we study about the beaks. And now, next body part of the birds we will study in detail depending on that how to categorize fit and claws fit and claws fit and claws birds have two fit to walk most of the birds have four toes on each foot. How many toes? Four toes on each foot. A bird has a claw at the tip of each toe. At tip of each toe, claw, uh, uh, claw is found. And birds use their feet and claws in order to catch their prey. For what purpose to catch their prey? For food, no? And to protect themselves from enemies. When the enemies come, they run away and they get protected. Different birds have different types of fit and claws. Let's study one by first one is perching birds. Perching birds. Let's see what kind of fit and claws this type of birds have. A perching bird has four toes, three in front and one at the back. Three in front and one at the back. The toes help the bird to hold the branch of a tree very firmly. Very firmly means very strongly. And this act or this action of holding the branch of a tree very strongly is called the perching. What it is called? Perching. And this is the reason a perching bird can slip on the branch of the tree because they can hold and by holding they can slip. Without falling, perching birds may also hop on the ground. They can hop on hop means jump here and there on the ground. Crows, minas and crows, then minas, you know, no? minas, yes, minas and sparrows. They are the perching birds. They are the perching birds, crows, then minors and sparrows. Next categorization is scratching birds. Scratching birds. Scratching birds. Let's see. Scratching birds. They have Three toes in front and a short hind toe. Hind means at the back side. Hind toe up the higher up the leg. And this is scratching bird. They scratch the soil. They scratch the soil. Dig the soil. For food with its strong horny claws. The claws are like horns. Horns of the cows and potatoes. And they scratch the soil with the help of that. And the example of this type of birds are. Hands and peacocks. Hands and peacocks are the scratching birds. <coughs> Next categorization is birds of prey. We study now about the birds of prey. We are going to study about the beaks of the birds. We study now by the by the shell owl. Birds. 
It's like the cows and buffaloes have this horns from similar way. Then curve the claws in order to catch up and break live animals. Means the animals which are like they will catch and they will <coughs> they will Now, okay. 